So after we have uh, converting the relational to the ERD to the relational model, we may not have uh, very solid and well structured relations. For this purpose, we use a data normalization. Then data normalization is a process that we are make sure that all of the attributes are, which are related, they are grouped together and then data, data has, a, database has a very well structured and uh, we don't have any, any anomalies. So main purpose is that we reduce the number of the redundancy of the data we have and the referential integrities are enforced. We have connection between the different tables and then it's make uh, easier to maintain the data whenever we insert or update or many or delete the data we are make we are making sure that we are not losing any data uh, we are not creating any inconsistency or anomalies and uh, it provides a better design of the relational data model and database so by well structures means that we have minimum number of the minimal data redundancy and still we can insert and update the list without any inconsistency. We have uh, three anomalies, three inconsistency that can happen whenever we insert, delete or modify. Uh, whenever uh, we add delete, we add or insert the data, adding a new rows uh, is uh, can uh, create a duplicate data that we should avoid that or whenever we delete the data we may you lose some of the critical information critical data and uh, whenever we change or modify the data we may uh, end up getting an inconsistency remember the example that we had for the updating the salary of the employee that if we do for the first row we have to remember to do it for the second row of the that example we had in the before uh, in the example at the beginning of this lecture so there is a general rules that when uh, each table should be about just only one entity type and it cannot have more than one entity type otherwise we are gonna get one of these anomalies either modification or deletion anomalies and sometimes insertion anomaly and this is the example I'm talking about so remember whenever this employee ID has been repeated twice you see if I updated this one uh, I may forget to update this one and then whenever I do research I I may get two solution for the salary of this employee or Whenever I delete this information, this tax accounting, if I re delete this record, uh, I may lose the information about this course title. So this relation is not well structured. This is the relation that we already defined in the beginning of the lecture, but this is not a well structured. So uh, the we have to have a better design and to to avoid the anomalies the answer is that uh, to avoid the anomalies we follow the normalization the normals uh, normal forms are the result of applying some rules uh, on the relations on the tables so whenever we apply new rules we get a normal forms usually the normal forms are uh, uh, we first the first one is that by, by first we remove the multi-valued attributes and it results in the first normal form so the first normal form all relations are the first normal form by the definition because we already 
in the converting the ERD diagram to the multi to relation we said remove all the multi value and then put them in the different relations so we the first normal form is essentially all the relations are the in the first normal form then remove the dependencies uh, dependencies I'm going to talk them about whenever you can get the information from one the information of one attributes from other attributes or then that represent a dependency dependency can be a partial or transitive which we'll define it more in the coming slides but when first we remove the partial dependency by removing the partial dependency we got the second normal form and then by removing the transitive dependency we got third normal form sometimes it may have we may not have a dependency so the first normal form is uh, exactly same as the third form or not once we done the normal form we remove the anomalies uh, from multiple candidate keys and we got <coughs> boycott normal form and then so on so we have fifth normal form but usually we just apply the first three normalization that's and for the purpose of the course is enough and uh, most of the database designer apply just three normalization so let's before the doing uh, before going to normalization and uh, cover the details of it that let's have some definition we have candidate key which is a attribute or a composite attribute that uniquely identifies a row in a relation a row or record in a table or relation we have it should have two property first of all it should have uniquely identified and it's not not redundant uh, uniquely identified that means that it, it should be it is uh, almost same as a primary key so Essentially, whenever we have uh, several candidate keys, one of them is going to work as a primary key and the rest, um, the rest of the non-key attributes will depend on the candidate keys. For example, uh, credit card number and SSN in a table can work as an identifier, but uh, essentially uh, we have to choose one as a primary key. And the null redundancy implies that none of the attributes in the key can be deleted without destroying the property of unique identification. So the functional dependency represents that we can get the value of the one of the attributes from one uh, value of the another attribute. For example, employee IDs whenever I have the employee ID I can get the name of the employee department name and salary so uh, employee ID is a determinant of the uh, name department uh, uh, so employee ID is a determinant and it gives me the name department name and salary of each employee but sometimes we may have a little complex case. In this example, employee IDs can give me name, department name, and salary. But it cannot give me the date of the complete date of the completion of the course. So employee ID plus course title gives me this information. So this is a dependency between these two, but these three name department name and salary are dependent of the employee id so this is a functional dependency between the attributes as we just talked uh, normal forms are the result of appli applying some rules on the relations then first normal forms they don't have any multi-valued attributes because we get the uh, 
whenever we remove the multi-valued relations attributes multi-valued attributes from the tables we get the first normal form and as a result every attributes in the first normal form is atomic it cannot be broken further and all the relations are in the first normal forms as an example consider this one which has the order id and order date customer id customer name and customer address address and the product id as you can see this order has three products three products are ordered in this one so as you can see the product id is a multi-value so this one is a not in the first normal form similarly this order also has two products and two uh, so this one is it gives me that this column is a multi-value so i in order to have a first normal form i can repeat this information and then this becomes a first normal form so i added uh, that i cut essentially i copied this uh, order ids again for each of this that was assigned for this order ID. but pay attention that as we talked uh, it violates it has an anomaly three anomalies that we already talked insertion delete and modification anomalies so to avoid this we have to apply the second normalization uh, we can see that whenever I have order ID uh, I for whenever I have a customer ID I can get some of the information from them so customer ID is giving me a customer name customer address or product ID is giving me some information so first I need to find the dependency and remember that to convert the first normal form to the second normal form I need to remove the partial dependencies partial dependency is uh, uh, partial dependency is that the data that are dependent on the one of the uh, keys in order to get the second normal form we have to uh, have a first normal form plus every non-key attribute is fully functionally dependent on the entire primary key so we have as we just talked every non-key attribute must be defined by entire key not only part of the key and no partial functional dependency should appear remember that fun uh, partial functional dependency is the one that we can get information from one of the primary keys uh, let me give you an example so order id uh, it gives me this information order date customer date customer name and customer order and product id gives me the this information product description and product finish and product standard price so because I get this information was from one of the composite primary keys, this is a partial def um, dependencies. So remember that we have all of these are the partial dependencies, two set of the rules. But order quantity, because it depends on both primary keys, is full dependency. So this is a definition of the partial dependency. To get the second or normal form we copy all of this partial dependency in the new form so i should i will have a order id order date or customer id and customer name and customer address in one relation and then product id product description product finish and product standard price in a second relation and then i will i should have order id and product id and order quantity in one relation so it gives me this one so this is a, a second normal form because I don't have any partial dependency so the part in the 
second normal form we remove the partial dependency partial dependency is that a dependency upon one of the primary keys order id or product id in a sense we are removing the number of the redundancy in a table because right now whenever i have this kind of the information all of these data are repeated because i have uh, for example product id is giving this information but i already saved stored this data in the database i have explanation of the product product finish and product uh, uh, standard price in the database so i i have already have that so that there is no need to repeat every information in this table now uh, the third normalization is a process that we remove the transitive dependency transitive dependency is a kind of dependency functional dependency that uh, we can we can get the information from a non key i non key attributes for example customer id is not a uh, id here is not a primary so i but it's whenever i have a customer id it gives me a customer name and address so in this case i can remove this customer id customer name and customer address and copy as a new relation but but keep the customer id as a foreign key here so this is becomes a relation so order id order date and customer are left as a uh, are left here as a foreign key but it's copied as a new relation so this is a result in the three third normalization form so we don't have any more dependency between the uh, data so between the attributes and then it result in the this is the result of the normalization you know the the customer is a has a primary key of the customer id and the uh, order is a uh, primary key and uh, its foreign key is a customer id and then uh, the order and product had the many to many relations so we create a new associative entity and we copy the order and product id as a foreign key but it creates a composite primary key so this is order ID and product ID is comes from order and product table and there this uh, this is a way we normalize that so we have uh, more some example for the relation with uh, relation of the converting ERD to the relational and normalization for example in this uh, I just talked about the first example but you may work on the second and third example uh, which the slides are posted on the e-collect. Uh, we have publisher and book which are two two entities and they have uh, each each of them have attributes uh, because the relation is one to many I can copy pub I need to pop copy publisher id to the book as a uh, foreign key so you see the isbn is a primary key um, and it has a title price publication date and customer publisher id so this publisher id is a foreign key and it comes from the publisher so we have one some more example that you can read and and solve it for yourself for uh, extra uh, practice so this is the end of the lecture have a good day